Hey everyone, welcome back. Happy New Year, good morning. It's another beautiful day here. Well, it's a gray skies. Um, in front of Salvation Army, I'm gonna go in there and see if there's any cool sneakers, vintage toys, or some vintage clothing. Mainly sneakers is what I aim for. Um, maybe they got some collectibles here. This place rarely has any collectible cards, but they do have cool, awesome sneakers. I'm gonna go in and see what I can find, and I want you guys to join me. See you there. Hey guys, welcome back. So we're here at the office. I'm gonna do a little show and tell on what I found today at the Salvation Army. Um, Weather-wise, it was gray, but it kind of matched today's feeling. I mean, I went to Salva, I went to Walmart, I went to Target, I checked out the clearance sections and didn't find anything. Um, and there weren't that many good things either at Salvation Army. I went to the men's uh, section to look at their sneakers, nothing. I think I only found one pair. There was another pair, but the sneakers were very dirty. I'm going to show you guys the clip. And then the um, then upstairs is the woman and kids section. I looked at their sneakers, and there was nothing there. There was a pair of Jordans, but um, those Jordans were the type of Jordans that they were like hybrids. They were a mix of everything, and they I know they're not going to sell. They were size 6 in kids, and they were not in bad condition, but it's just I was going to hold on to those sneakers, and they're like 12 bucks. I can easily sell those sneakers for $25 and somebody would buy them, but with the shipping, everything included, that wasn't profitable. I'm looking, I'm trying to look for sneakers that are in the range between $50 and up, maybe $45, depending on how light and if they're a small size sneaker. But aside from that, guys, let's take a look at all the cool stuff that we got today. As a matter of fact, let me show you guys how much I paid. I paid $24.19, so less than $25 for all these items. You might have seen these at the clip that I showed inside Selva, except for this. This was the only thing I believe I did not show. It was $3.99, and it is this alarm clock. For some reason, our alarm clocks sell online, uh, especially iPod, anything that you could put an iPod or uh, Apple product on it. This one, does, unfortunately, does not have a slot for you to put your iPod or a connection for it. I believe it does not. Yeah, this is just a generic, but it's very nice and it worked well. All the functions are there. It's just, just black shiny, right? You turn it on, you plug it in. It's beautiful. Let me see if actually, matter of fact, let me show it to you guys now. So I have my uh, office here. I have, I'm gonna turn it into a slash game room. I have the TV mounted on the wall. I got some LEDs here. Uh, I got myself an Xbox Series X. I was one of the lucky ones. I actually bought it up at Best Buy uh, through the app. For some reason, I was having lunch and I said, let me just go on Best Buy app. Clicked it, went on the app and I saw um, X, 
Xbox Series X. For those that don't understand, it's very hard to find a Series X right now. Let's see, there you go. It's very nice when you turn it off with all the functionality here. It's just square. It's really, it's really nice. It's a nice square. Paid four bucks, probably will get like $25, $30 for this. Um, back to the Series X story. Uh, so I was having lunch, went on the app, and I found one. It said add to cart. Because normally if you go on Best Buy app, Walmart app, Target app, it says sold out. For some raw reason it was there, it said add to cart. Right in split second, I clicked to add to cart, and then it shows me a screen that says you're in line, wait a couple of minutes, verifying your account. And it all worked out, so I bought it. I went to go pick it up at my local Best Buy, and now I have it here. I bought LEDs for this. I'll show you guys a, a quick glimpse of how my office is set up now. Again, it's the office slash game room now. I'm going to fix this place around and just to... Because, again, this is my workstation. This is where I make money. This is my focus area. Uh, I brainstorm here. So, I, now that I have the TV mounted and I can just play whenever I want. I got a headset as well, as you can see here. It's one of the um, Bluetooth ones. So, late at night when wifey is sleeping, the kids are sleeping. Again, the office is on the second floor of my house. This wall right here, that's my, my oldest son. The wall over there, well, it's on the other side of the hallway, is my youngest son. And then my wife and I, our master bedroom is on this side. So, they could hear us. I am not going to go crazy and get those, I forgot what they're called, but those, those black foams that studios use to um, to reduce noise. I'm not gonna have that. I'm just gonna put this in my ear and just play and stay quiet. All right, so this was four bucks. Sorry, I was going out of a different story here. So I got this for four bucks, right? And like I said, I paid 25, $24 for everything here. I remember showing this in the clip, in the, uh, clip when I was at the Salvation. I paid a dollar, two dollars, two dollars. I tried to check to see if this was an antique, like a vintage shirt. And you know one way you can find out if you are looking if you're looking at a vintage t-shirt without even knowing the year. I mean, just keep this in mind. Most companies now, if it's a generic fruit of the looms, whatever, it'll have a www dot uh email uh, uh web address. Well, this one does not have a web address. And when it does have a web address, it gives you more of an idea that those sneakers were, uh, excuse me, sneakers, t-shirts were um, produced in the mid-2000s moving forward. But anything like in the late 90s, there were no www dot, um, tags on these. So I got this for two bucks, the AC Slater. What does it say here? It says, turn up the AC. That's awesome. Size medium. It's not going to fit me. Saved by the bell right there. It's pretty cool. And what was the other shirt that I found? This one was also two dollars, one ninety nine. That Barry Manilow, I think it is. One night live, the last time. This is the two thousand and four tour. How do I know? I'm not a fan. It's just because I read it in the back. Pretty cool. Did they play? In Pittsburgh, they played at Madison Square Garden. Cool. Jacksonville. Right, $2. Oh, I checked the comps on these. This is going for uh, $25 with like $5, $7 shipping fee. So you're pretty much looking at a $32, $30 sale shirt on a $2 item. I take it right away. Spend $2 to make $30 plus. And this is going to be put in a potty bag that doesn't weigh more than I have it here. I don't. Actually, I do. How much is this shirt going to weigh? Plus the poly bag. All right. This is a nine ounce. So nine ounce. Let's say the furthest location in the United States, going to California. This is probably going to cost me. I want to say four thirty, four fifty. Let's say four fifty on this. Or maybe close, less than five dollars. I'll tell you that. On a nine ounce. Not bad. And, oh, there you go. That was the other thing. Before I show you the last item, the fifth item, because I couldn't remember what was the fifth item that I purchased. But let me show you these sneakers. These guys right here. These are Adidas. Very nice. Very clean. They might not look too clean on the screen here. 
these are very nice and they're size 13. I tend to look, it's very hard for me to find sneakers between the sizes of eight all the way to size 10 and a half. It's very hard for some reason. Those are popular sizes. But kid sneakers, I always look for kid sneakers just because I know they're small and they can be put in a, in a priority mail bag and it's always a flat rate. So I always buy those type of size sneakers and it just so happens that I always find them and uh, they sell well. But when it comes to size uh, 12, 13s, I buy those as well because for some reason um, they sell. Size 13 sells online and they sell for a good price just because of the size. I cannot put these in a poly bag because they're too big. But knowing that people do buy size 13, I'm assuming they're hard to find at stores um, or they don't make much of size 13s. I don't know, but they sell. And these are very nice. How much did I pay? I paid 15 bucks. 15 bucks, I could probably make 60 bucks on these. This is probably gonna cost me, ship these at, on UPS, $9, $9. Cause these are no more than two pounds. Yeah, 1.13.3. So put this in a poly bag, you're looking at less than two pounds and it's gonna cost me about less than $10 shipping this at UPS or FedEx. Smart, smart FedEx, is that what it's called? Okay, so now let's go with the last item. Again, I paid $24 and 19 cents. This is the last item. I was by the elevator upstairs when I was looking for kid sneakers and I didn't find anything. I was at the elevator and while I was waiting for it, I saw uh, mittens. I saw these, right? Plain mittens, I got these for, I can't tell if that was a dollar for 99 cents. Cause there's like a slash, I mean, let's just say it's $2. All right, so I, bought the, I looked at these mittens. I'm not gonna show you guys the other side yet. I looked at these mittens from the artwork on the front side and I said, hmm, these are unique. They look different or they look old, vintage. So I went on the computer, uh, I went on my app, uh, on eBay app, and I checked um, these mittens, the specific words, vintage Mickey Mouse. mittens and these go for like 30 bucks online and this weighs like two ounces very light and i was gonna pass them i looked at it again i can't tell if this is 199 or just 99 but either way i looked at them and i even put them back and i said ah the elevator was coming but then i grabbed them i said you know what just because of the artwork they look old and the writing the trademark everything looked old and i said you know what let me just google it uh eBay, uh, check the comps, and they, they were going for 30 bucks. So, so you know what, another $30. So $30 on this shirt and $30 on this, 60 bucks, and I spent $4 on this so far, two, two, I think it's two, two or nine, 99, 99, either way, I'm gonna say $2 each. That Saved by the Bell, probably, I don't know, I gotta do my work. I'll probably show the comps on the screen right here and how much you're going for, if they're even available online. And the sneakers, I'm probably gonna get 60 plus on those. And that um, in the um, the square ace uh, alarm clock, I'll probably get 30 bucks for that as well. Again, these are not awesome finds. These are not the things that are gonna make me rich or you know make me good money. But again, I like to play the long game where if I find an item that I know is profitable and I can just hold on to it, I'm gonna hold on to it. Um, the mittens, for example, I'm not going to sell them for 30 I may sell them for like $35, $34, a little high, because that's the way I play the game. Um, if everything is, if when I look at an item and they're selling at a certain price, I don't go with that price. If they're selling for 25 bucks, let them sell it for 25 bucks. I'm going to sell mine for 30 because when the rest run out, mine's going to be the next in line. That's just the way I see it when it comes to sneakers. Now, when it comes to sneakers, I like to set my prices a higher than normal, the average rate, and then I put best offer. Um, this is the style, the way I play my game with sneakers on my online store. All these sneakers, again, they're all pre-owned, but I make sure they look very good on my store. Uh, I take nice photos. I have a nice camera that takes these nice photos, and I um, 
set them at a good price. Keep in mind, I set them at a good price with the nice images. And I put best offer on most sneakers. And then when a customer or is interested and they hit me with a best offer, the first thing I do is I look at my listing to see how many watchers are watching those sneakers. If a sneaker has 20 watchers I'm, and I'm selling them for 150 and somebody's offering me 100, I'm not going to take it. Uh, I, for a perfect example, there were these Jordans about two weeks ago around Christmas time. Um, I think there were Jordan 1s. And there were 27 watchers on these Jordans and they were going for like 130, 129.99. And people kept lowballing me. They kept, I had them at best offer. With 27 people watching these Jordans that were going for $130, people were offering me 60 bucks, 70 bucks, 80 bucks. And I wasn't taking them, I kept declining them. Some I was I was um, responding with uh, 120, 115. Somebody should have taken the number for 115 because somebody actually bought them for 130. So I like to play the long game. If somebody's out there and they really want those sneakers, they're gonna pay the premium. They're paying for what I'm doing. They're paying for me to go get out of my house, my office, to drive to look for those sneakers make deals in those sneakers, clean those sneakers. But before I clean them, I have to buy those products to clean those sneakers. So all this stuff I take into consideration. And then once they're clean and prepped, now I got to take photos, all this time and energy and capital that I'm investing on those sneakers. So that's the reason why I charge a premium. And um, people understand that. Those that don't understand and they say, well, dude, why are you charging? Why do you have your listing on these sneakers for 140 when you can... I can buy them for a hundred from this guy. Then go buy them for from that other guy for a hundred dollars, a hundred and five, a hundred and ten. But the reason why is that mines are going to be better because I check the markets on the conditions. Their mines are going to look better. Mines are presented better. Um, uh, I took my time to invest and make them look better than the others. If there is a problem with them, I will negotiate with someone that is interested. So that is the reason why I put my sneakers in best offers. So I can level the game when I need to with my customers. That's just a strategy that I use and I've been doing it now for a year, more than a year, because I've been heavily buying sneakers for more than a year now. So um, it's going up, it's going good. I know that eBay just recently pull, um, put a, uh, a new seller fee for sneakers. Before it was free if you had sneakers and you were selling them over $99, they were free for the listing. I don't think they're doing that anymore. But either way, I have a collection of sneakers that are doing good. All right, guys, uh, that's all I have right now. I'm sorry for the rant, but that's all. Actually, you know what? Let me show you guys my setup on my, uh, I'm gonna put the camera on so you guys can see my setup, my game room slash office now, all right? So yeah, this is my setup here. I got my workstation here, um, the Xbox there, the wireless headset with the wireless Series Elite 2 controller there. I think I made a video of this guy that I found at the Salvation Army. I think I paid about 40 bucks for this guy. Beautiful. This guy's actually in my eBay store for a thousand bucks. You know why it's going for a thousand bucks? Because I said so. I love that statue. I want to keep it but it's for sale. I cannot keep things that I buy at Salvation Army because everything is for sale, but I love it. So that is the reason why I have it for a thousand. If somebody wants it for a thousand, is willing to pay a thousand, then it's all yours. But right now it is my remote holder. I bought this stand right here. See that stand? Beautiful, I got this off Amazon. I'll put the link below. I got the Xbox there. I got my Halo. I pretty much just bought this Xbox for Halo. I only play Halo, nothing else. My younger sister, she bought me that. Shout out to Lily Bean. Thank you, Lily. My Les Lorinos bought me that. It's beautiful. When you put your iWatch there, it's an iWatch um, charger. So when you put it there, it looks awesome. And then my beautiful wife, uh, four years ago, bought me this computer. Um, to start off my business. Is it four or five? I 
can't remember now. But either way, she bought that for me for Christmas to start my business because I has left my company, uh, my job of 17 years at the end of the uh, at the end of November. So by December, I started working on the laptop. By Christmas time, my wife bought me that best gift ever. So uh, Christmas time, I bought myself this Xbox um, so I can start playing Halo. I took this picture in college, it's Socrates. Uh, this Socrates, this, this sculpture, the statue was actually uh, placed by my um, by my hometown, Astoria, Queens. That's actually Athens Park. They call it Athens Park, I call it PS17. Uh, that's another picture right here that I took in college that is Astoria. This picture was taken on the roof of the building that I grew up on, or grew up in. But I'm on the roof and I'm taking a picture of the Hell's Gate and Triborough. That picture was taken. I can tell you exactly when this photo was taken. It was taken in May 2001. Uh, if This is a story, but if I took the camera and I moved it this direction, I would have been able to take a photo of um, the World Trade Center because this direction is facing Jersey. The other direction over here is facing um, downtown Manhattan. And again, this photo was taken in 2001 before the towers fell. So yeah, those are my collections of Magic the Gathering products, my collection of Magic the Gathering uh, wrappers. These are the Horsemen's, this is Arabian Nights, Antiquities, Legends, The Dark, and Fallen Empires. Another cool gift that my younger sister got my wife and I for Christmas was uh, number two, Spongebob. Spongebob Uno card. Why? Because my wife and I, when we first met, that was the uh, the game that we played, Spongebob Uno, and um, it was very fun. I got my cool dude here, again, because I had just bought the Xbox a couple of days ago, and that's it. My light sculpture, I used to work for that company for 17 years. It's the that, and I think I have two other three other lamps in this house. Those are the only lamps I have from the company. If anything happens to these, I can no longer get them replaced because they are expensive and I don't work there no more. Be very careful that it does not get destroyed. And then we have a sofa in this office. So when a, somebody wants to come over, sleep over, we just put this chair all the way inside the desk. They fall down and turns into a sofa bed. So we have our company to sleep over. That's my closet. It's a mess right now. Let me open this up. Should I turn on the light? Just embarrassed right now because it's all messy, messy. Uh, so I have packages, uh, package envelopes here. I have some package products up here, including up here. This Spider-Man, I bought it for like 20, not even like 17 bucks. At Walmart, and it's going for like seventy seventy dollars on this, on online. So I'm just holding on to that. <clears throat> These are pretty much stuff that sell every day, so I just have it here. All right, guys, I'm gonna let you guys go. Thanks for watching. I'll speak to you guys soon.